Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I was just finishing up a set of my home gym that I got all in for $300. Let me tell you what I got. The first thing I have is this fitness reality adjustable bench from Amazon. This bad boy is 110 bucks, 109, and it's really great. For one, I really like the layout and support of the seat itself. It's synthetic leather, it's very thin, it's got just the right amount of padding, but it's not super thick and padded, which I feel like will help with longevity. There's no gap here between the backrest and the seat, which I like, and the uh, width of the top rest is perfect for doing uh, dumbbell sets with full range of motion. I also like how easy it is to adjust the angle. It can go all the way up to about 85 degrees for shoulder presses and all the way down to about minus, uh, this is basically about even, and then one set above that, all the way down to maybe minus 25 or so, give or take, uh, for a decline uh, bench press. Does not have a 30 degree incline, so that is a downside of it. So it's not perfect for uh, incline bench press, but nonetheless, it is fine for me at about 20 degrees and up to 45. You can get a lot of those muscles isolated if you had to. The other thing I like is how easy it was to put together. The whole thing took about five minutes and only required four screws, two for the front, two for the back for these supports. They are cylindrical, so on a hard floor, you may want something with a flat bottom, but in my case for carpet, I actually prefer this. Um, this is adjustable, and this was another major selling point for me. A lot of these cheaper benches come with these thick, fatty kind of pads that rotate that end up absorbing sweat, and I just find them to be a little less desirable. This is much more hygienic and much more secure and um, ergonomic, in my opinion. So this is a really, really awesome bench, and for just over 100 bucks, I think this is the one to get. Uh, the other thing that we got a great deal on are these uh, adjustable dumbbells. Believe it or not, we got these from Aldi. These are made by Crane and they're 50 pounds. Um, they go in increments of five, not two and a half. And they don't go in sequential order. So sometimes you have to go 20, 30, 40, 50, 25, 35, 45, etc. So it's just interesting, the mechanism. And they sometimes are a little difficult to get back into position because just the weights themselves shift around. So when you're trying to orient it back onto the dock, which is included, uh, it can be a little bit tricky, but it's a small price to pay considering what I paid for these. These are retailed um, at about 165 each, but I saw them on Aldi last week on sale for 50% off. So I got both for 165, about 180 all in including tax. And for hundred pounds of adjustable dumbbells, it doesn't get any better than this. They're perfectly fine. They're perfectly stable for what I do for my activities. And um, I think that they're also a really, really nice buy. I think that the fact that they include the stand is also a nice perk. And the last thing is this mat that I got for like 10 bucks. And I oriented it horizontally so that I can drop the weights uh, more or less after a set and not worrying about damaging the floor as much. So yeah, I mean, for $300, I think this is as good as it gets for a home gym. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, hopefully it will give me some motivation to get a little bit more done at the house. Uh, so I don't have to go to the gym all the time, but there it is, my $300 home gym. And if you can find these things, I recommend it. I will link down below to everything that I got. Hope it helps. Bye.